Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Red Kojak here and with my episode four, Good Choices for the Walking Dead. And before we get started, I just want to, you know, um, make a quick announcement. And I mentioned previously that, you know, we'll be taking a break from YouTube for a bit and uh, this will be like my last of the videos for a while. Um, and, you know, to make it, you know, short and sweet, um, working on my CPA, um, but I'm also taking some classes from other stuff too as it related to game gaming. Um, so just need to kind of buckle down and just focus on schooling for at least the next two years or so. But uh, I'll still be around for you know on Discord for anybody who wants to keep in touch and you know play games from time to time. Um, but in terms of like regular uploads to the channel, um, you know GBU and other uploads, uh, those will be taking a pretty long break. But you know again, thank everybody for the support. And now uh, let's get started. I will do a wrap up at the end of uh, this episode. Uh, so three parts as usual for my good choices. All right, let's get started. Last time on The Walking Dead. Since I can remember, Clem's always been there with me. She taught me to be careful, to be quiet, to be strong, to always aim for the head, to atone when I did something bad, to show mercy sometimes. I always listen to Clem, always, but I've been thinking more. I don't know if she's right every time. She told me to shoot her if she got bit. That doesn't feel right. We're doing a lot of bad things. To save our friends. To protect our home. But when Clem told me not to shoot Lily, and she, she killed James, I got mad. So mad. I don't, I don't know what I feel anymore. Clem knows either. But I remember all the rules. And the first one is never go alone. Ah! 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 Ah!
much longer.
people will lose their war. They'll die because of you. The Delta was the first place I called home after years of wandering. After this, there won't be anything left to go back to. You're wasting arrows. Nothing lasts, Clementine. Not friends, not love, not the place you call home. They'll all fall eventually. Never forget that, or they'll drag you down too. If I see you again, I'll kill you. Sorry about your tongue, but at least you're still alive. You have no idea how happy I am to see you right now. Get the fuck off of me! Are you okay? Yeah. My ass is a little singed, but I'm good. Fuck. I can't believe that works. Lou. What happened to Minnie? I don't know. I lost track after the explosion. Clem! God, you guys made it. Fuck. There's more walkers than I can count. That explosion drew them right to us. Stay cool. We knew this would happen. We just have to get off this beach. Look! We brought the cart around. Ruby, Willie! Come on! We're getting out of here! Under these little shits! Put them down! Oh, shit! Clap, do something! Herself killed. Oh, my God. We've got a break for it now. Everyone run. 
run for the cart. I'll stay back and cover you. I'll be right behind you. The second I see an opening, I'll make a break for it. I'll see you on the other side. Damn right. AJ, go with them. No, I'm staying with you. Thanks, kiddo. have to squeeze through there. We don't know where it goes. Well, we do know there's walkers in the other direction. But... Move it, dummy! We're safe, but not for long. It's so dark in here. This sucks. I'll figure something out. Damn it, it's all too wet to burn. Start a fire. Hmm. Perfect. Flint. Need something to wrap the cloth around before I burn it. nice in our room. Just have to get home first. OK. 
okay. All right. Hey, good. Look, there's another tunnel over there. It's too far. Well, we just gotta... We gotta find something to help us cross. Clem, the walkers are getting closer. Don't worry. We'll be home before you know it. AJ can play with it. Clem, do you think James might wash down here? I'm not sure. I hope he doesn't. I don't want to see him like that. Clem, did you... Did you see Minnie out there? I didn't see her anywhere. But that doesn't mean she escaped. I'm sorry, I didn't see her. Maybe she made it off in time. Maybe I'll see her again. I hope. If I yanked that out of there, it would drift down the river and get caught in the rocks. Could work as a bridge. Just need to go across one by one, and then we'll move the rocks out of the way. Which way do we go? Ten, do you see a light down any of these tunnels? AJ, still with me? Hey, 
AJ, please. We have to keep moving. There's... there's nothing after this. What? James isn't in there. He looked right at me, and... and his eyes were empty. There's nothing after we die. Nothing but empty eyes. I know. I know you do. And I know you keep things from me. <gasps> what? <gasps> Why did you make me make my friend go away? Everything is just, just wrong. Like something spilled on the floor and you just can't get it back. AJ, every time you kill, you become a little harder. I'm scared of what you might become. Murdering Marlin was the start for you. I wanted to keep you safe from all this. I wanted to guide keep you. Keep me safe? You say don't be soft, but everything that you do just messes up my head. Be strong. Be brave. If something wants to hurt us, shoot it right in the head. <sighs> AJ. When we were talking with Abel, you stabbed him and stopped him from becoming a monster. You made killing look so easy. AJ, please. That's enough. I'm sorry. I'm just scared something will take you away. Aren't you scared of that too? Having to leave the world behind? And me? Listen, kiddo. Everyone is scared of dying. Of what happens after. Especially if it's nothing. people I care about to leave, Clem. I have to kill anyone that tries to take them away. I do. I believed you when you called me a murderer about Marlin. I don't think that murder means the same thing as it did when you were little. In a world that's gone now. I think the murder now is just protecting the people around you. Murder is a thing that makes us safe. Some part of me wants to say you're right. Maybe words do change. Then say I'm right. I know you want to be big for everyone, but you're just a kid. Like me. Sometimes you're scared, just like any other kid. So I'll help. You said all the policemen and firefighters died. So I'm gonna be a new one. Even if I don't get it just right, I am. Because all it means is killing bad people who hurt other people. And I'm good at that. Like, I think I could be the best at killing bad people. Better than you, even. Because I wouldn't hesitate. I think you'd be a good firefighter. But can you not be so angry? What do you mean? Our new firefighters can't be as angry as you get sometimes. I need you to trust me, Clem. That I can tell the good people and the bad people apart. That I know when to use my gun. And that you'll let me decide for my own. Okay. Really? Firefighters have to make the hard calls. Which means they deserve our trust. And if they kill to protect others, they're never happy about it. Killing people doesn't make me happy, Clem. Yeah, that's the way out. Come on.
coast is clear. If the shore is that way, then the school is probably that way. Sim was the third. Huh? The day after AJ killed Marlon. You already know Violet and I voted for you to stay. A Sim was the third vote. Wait, that means Omar voted us out? And Ruby? Uh, yeah. Huh. What made you think of that? A Sim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you, but his reason, it was better. I just, I just thought you should know. Asim was right. We were safer. We were more scared than we let on when you met us. You made that go away. As bad as Marlin was, he still saved me and AJ, and you nursed me back to health. We owed you for that. Maybe, but even so. If Marlin was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead, we fought back, because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlin, even in his safe zone. We were just hiding. Huh? <gasps> Did everyone else escape? Yeah, they're okay. They took the cart and headed back to the school. We're safe, Clem. All we gotta do now is find our way home. Any idea which way that is? I know an old bridge near here. If we cross it, we won't be too far from the school. Well, we were looking for you guys, and I... I thought you might be gone for good. Oh. Shit. I was trying to figure out what I'd do if you were gone. And I realized how goddamn stupid I was about Minnie. For a whole fucking year. I was so wrapped up in losing her and Sophie, I pushed away everyone who tried to care about me. Marlon, Brody, Lewis, even you and AJ, I, I, I tried my damnedest not to care about either of you. Well, you screwed up because you did care about me. I didn't expect to find a friend like you. Not ever again, but I'm really glad I did. Jesus, everything's so different now. Me, us, the school. I remember how Marlon described it, and what we were gonna turn Erickson into. It's not the way any of us pictured it. How did you picture it? I guess I couldn't. I just listened to what Marlon said, how it would be a home. A real one, but I couldn't really wrap my head around it. 
My family lived in a trailer. Mm, what about you? Where'd you live? I lived in a house with my mom and dad. Fence around it, big backyard. What was your favorite part of the house? I had a tree house in the backyard. I used to take my walkie-talkie up there and play for hours. I'd pretend it was a ship and I was the pirate captain. Or it was an igloo and I was a hunter. <laughs> or a castle and I was a princess. Really? Like with frilly dresses and a tiara? Yeah, but also a sword. A warrior princess. Yeah, obviously. And that treehouse kept me alive when all this started. That's where I hid. <sighs> you know, Erickson can still be the home Marlin promised. As soon as we get back, we'll start rebuilding. Hmm. <sighs> It'll be a lot of work, but you're right. And it is worth it. Hell, we could even put in a treehouse. We've already got a bell tower. Okay, we'll build a bell tower house. Perfect. After all that's happened, it's still hard to imagine. I mean, we fought for it. Defended it. It should feel more like home than ever, but it doesn't. You know what the problem is? That stupid fucking name, Erickson. You want to rename it? <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. We should name it something cool. Threatening, but not like scary. Something that makes assholes go, I should stay away. But not like blood murder knife house. You name it. It was your idea. Texas. We're calling it Texas. You can't just name it Texas. Fine. Texas too. I want to help rebuild our school. You will attend. We all will. We can start as soon as we get back. Let's get home to Texas, too. Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward. That's far. Really far. Should be able to jump it. It's not that far. Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard. Me? 
going someplace better. I want you there with me. Where everyone gets to be a person again? We're gonna go be with Mom and Dad and Sophie. Ten, look at me. I know that looks like her, but your sister is gone. I'm... Do you fucking speak to him? Any of you? Do this! Don't worry, Ten. She can try to stop me. But I am not going anywhere without you. The night will be over soon. I did it for you. For me. I can't 
Ten is gone! That soft little boy who liked to draw, he's gone because of you! AJ saved your life, Vi. You'd be dead if he hadn't taken that shot. You think that's okay? Just gunning down one of our own. I didn't want to shoot him. He was my first real friend. But he was messing up again, just like when he got Mitch killed. So I had to decide. Clemps said I could, so I did. Goodbye, Tom. <laughs> Trap us! I know. I'll climb first and I'll catch you on the way down. Come on! Bye! Shit! I got it! Clem, look out! Run! Meet us back at the school! But we'll make it! Go! Bit. We can't stay here. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving. Oh. Keep moving forward. Forward. 